Hi, this is Michelle Holland. I'm the Creative Director of Synergy IQ. Welcome to Culture Conversations in the Car. This is part two from uh, yesterday, our Living Values uh, series right now. So if you didn't see yesterday's, just uh, pop back um, across to the other video and have a quick look. It's only uh, three and a half minutes, so um, you'll get through that real quick and then pop back here. So today we're talking about effective and ineffective behaviors. We talk about this during our Living Values program and actually we help businesses design what they expect to see as far as behaviors. Now the reason this is so important is because the values are great, but without some language around those values and some expectations around those values, then some people can uh, swing and miss at uh, delivering on your values. So it's really important to be able to put some frameworks around it, some real language as well. So we actually bring the values to life um, by actually utilizing the language that's used within your business. So we don't just develop up, you know, standard, you know, downloaded from the internet kind of behavior statements, which some um, places put in. Um, this is actual language that your business utilizes to bring your values to life. We also talk about what I term effective or ineffective behaviors or helpful or unhelpful behaviors. The reason I term it that way is because I don't like to use the words good and bad. We talk about good behavior and bad behavior and good and bad are such subjective terms that they are really not helpful to use, particularly in, um, in workplaces. Uh, they're not good to use anywhere. We don't talk about good and bad behavior when we're talking about children. The research is telling us very, very strongly that this is really unhelpful when you're teaching children. So there's no surprise that the research is showing us that it's really unhelpful when talking with adults as well. So when we look at behavior, there are behaviors that are effective and there are behaviors that are completely ineffective. And effectiveness is the functionality at work. It's not just about how it makes people feel, it's actually whether it gets the job done or not because we're at work, so we're trying to get a job done. Let me give you a quick example. Uh, effective behavior would be turning up to a meeting on time and prepared. Now it's quite obvious to think why that might be an effective behavior because you are able to contribute to the meeting in a much more functional way. Uh, and we might not waste as much time in meetings if people are prepared when they walk into the room. There's nothing worse than taking an hour to have a meeting when actually 15 minutes would do. The opposite is ineffective. All right, so taking that hour when 15 minutes would do is an ineffective way of running a meeting. So if you turn up to a meeting not prepared, you haven't read the papers beforehand, you haven't done a bit of research yourself, you haven't formed your own um, opinions, then you're actually turning up to that meeting and wasting other people's time, you're wasting your own time, and you're not gonna get the best outcome. So that's ineffective, right? It's not bad behavior, it's just ineffective. You're not gonna get the outcomes that you're actually looking for, and you're gonna waste time. So why would you choose that kind of behavior? Here's the trick. When we get into ineffective behaviors, there are some behaviors where they are ineffective, but other people will tolerate, or you will tolerate. And there are some ineffective behaviors that should not be under any circumstances tolerated in a workplace. Now the ones that should not be tolerated at all generally have les legis generally the ones that shouldn't be tolerated under any circumstances generally have legislation that surrounds them. So things like discrimination, harassment, racism, um, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Those things, we should not be tolerating them at all in workplaces. So as soon as something like that is seen, there should no be, there, as soon as something like that is seen, there should be no tolerance whatsoever for that kind of behavior and it should be stamped out immediately. So if there is a stupid joke being told in the lunchroom, which is sexist or racist or whatever it is, it should be stopped straight away. 
that stuff should not even be tolerated for a moment. When we talk about behavior that we can tolerate, it's the things that happen in the workplace that yes, they're annoying, yes, they're frustrating, yes, they're ineffective, but they don't happen all the time. So we have a level of tolerance for it. So it might be that, you know, I've turned up to a meeting and I'm not prepared and I'm running late. And in, the, in your mind, if you say, oh, Michelle's turned up to this meeting, she's late, she's not prepared, that's really annoying but it's so unlike her, then that's when we tolerate it, all right? That's generally when we tolerate it. And we, as humans, tend to give people the benefit of the doubt a couple of times. Um, we're, we're fairly generous with that sort of thing, unless we've been burnt by them or others really badly in the past and we've broken our trust. But normally, for most people, we do allow a couple of um, slip-ups before we get really frustrated. Now, if I turn up to a meeting late and unprepared, and that's the, my standard practice, then you get into an intolerant place, and that's actually okay. As long as, this is the kicker, as long as you address it with me. It's not okay to be intolerant and frustrated by a behavior of someone else's and not address it in some way. That is not okay. It's your job to address things that frustrate you in the workplace and you do that in a constructive way. And we'll talk about feedback in another video later on because there are ways you can give feedback that actually has have people saying thank you for that feedback. So ineffective behavior, tolerate or not tolerate, we always want to aim for it as effective behavior as we can absolutely have. Behaviors are really important in the workplace, so sorry this is a bit of a longer video than I normally do in the car, uh, but it's an important topic. I'll try and cut out some of the guff. This is Michelle Holland. I am from this is Michelle Holland. I'm from Synergy IQ, your transformation.